Today topic uh, is like uh, about a tank cleaning pump uh, which was uh, not operational on my ship and uh, we have troubleshooted and what steps we have taken out, what we have done it and uh, what are the things you will see in this video. So if you like this video do subscribe my YouTube channel and uh, just uh, it will give me an encouragement subscribe, press a subscribe button and a like button so let's go ahead uh, this is like a, a pump is a famo type pump and uh, it is famo make is a make and a type is ma200 and whatever troubleshooting we carried out is like that uh, the speed control unit was dismantled and uh, and uh, and we had an inspection for the blockage and it was and it and we checked the bleed pump uh, bleed plug also which was found satisfactory also note that that, that uh, compositor local control wall was also interchanged with the one starboard compositor uh, unit you know and then the pump was tried out after bleeding the oil you know we purged it and then and from the inlet side in a return line still the pump was not running so here you know uh, we can see that, that there was no pressure gauge no in the pressure gauge there was no pressure it was zero bar you know so this is a compositor all over control wall which i tried to swap it and interchange but still not was working so the speed control unit or dismantle and check and it was found satisfactory so we have just uh, dismantled this full unit also try to remove and then try to check but still it was not working you know then uh, this was the place where we all removed everything and we checked so it was all okay you know so here this we removed and just check o-ring and other places other part we just check it around then we float it and then we again blow through and try to run you know things were satisfactory no then uh, again uh, what uh, we thought that maybe something got stuck in the impeller or impeller side we want to check have a mechanical side of the pump side you know so we just removed everything and uh, from there then we removed the impeller also so there we saw we, saw, we found that it was without any erosion so it was in good condition the impeller was clearly rotating and turning and can easily turn from hand side and there was no obstruction you know the same side from here we can see the you know there was no obstruction and from here also side everything was clear and the casing also was good and wallet casing was good and uh, then if you even see that uh, there was like all this uh, oil seals and uh, ball bearings so everything was good this gears were good you know pump driven and it was all good satisfactory so we were not able to literally see that uh, what exactly went wrong why it's not running so so mechanical side was like it was seen clear now if you see the hydraulic motor shaft which was also turning freely which you will see in the video also so this was also a part was clear then here you can see that uh, uh, this uh, uh, we have box back this full impeller uh, uh, casing housing we put back in the housing of the pump and uh, we check the rotation also it was working fine and uh, then we installed that uh, hydraulic motor also which was working fine there was no issues and we did a purging and breeding of the sea water from here you know so from here we did a purging so after putting all the words nuts and everything and uh, housing and the hydraulic motor we took out this pipe and opened the inlet wall and checked that there was like uh, uh, we purged it and all the air was removed from here and uh, we checked the seal you know there was no sea water leaking from the pump also and then after that we connected the hydraulic uh, this all these pipelines and uh, we again try to run the pump but still the pump was not running the pressure was saying zero you know uh, so you know then uh, we decided to uh, take up the job and check the hydraulic uh, side now so if you see that uh, you know all this uh, green marks you know we can see the troubleshooting as per major career as per green mark which has been done you know uh, so we were supposed to check the pilot line pressure also for that uh, we just decided to uh, take up and just check some other uh, uh, hydraulic connections on the drive drive inside because the mechanical side was clear and uh, this uh, only drive inside was something was missing or so according to this uh, if you see this chart it said that uh, 
if a failure of the control valve can be you know uh, the possibility checks could be orifice uh, which can be clogged or something lcs can be clogged main block stuck or compensator valve open unturned ccw you know clockwise you need to turn it you know and should open it, compensator stuck it can be something like this so you know anything can go wrong here you know so so then later on uh, we thought of uh, dismantling this compensator which was attached and there was a spring load here so we did a we did a push this spring and uh, we saw that this is stuck and for that we did a swapping of one starboard we swapped this uh, part from the one starboard tank or tank and put it on our tank on the ship and then we found it was working fine so then we understood that this uh, inside there is a spring moment which cannot be renewed so i don't so this is a problem so then after that we tried out a pump from cci it was working the uh, tank clean pump was started working so the only the problem was with this uh, compensator a small uh, part uh, which the inside was spring loaded which was not working so this was also mentioned in the you know if you see here they have also mentioned in the manual that this compensator checks and uh, the complete compensator may be unscrewed by the crew and verify that the piston is moving freely note the valve is uh, tested and adjusted very carefully at a primo test stand and touching the adjustment is prohibited so you should not touch it you should not uh, uh, adjust this spring you know so it is prohibited it should not be done so in reference to the troubleshooting the unscrew complete compensator valves on the valve block check that a piston research against clip if not carefully push against the end of the piston to make the piston move freely clean and lubricate if necessary but do not dismantle the valve and reinst reinstall the valve just you need to reinstall the valve so this is a small orifice and uh, you need to just uh, just install it you know don't you don't need to take it out you know just uh, install it and uh, clean it and put it back so you need to check the stainers filters over here also just clean it you know or if it's it will become okay so the conclusion was that mechanical side pump was always satisfactory and since we suspected the control side and hardware block so we, we from there we have checked and found this compensator which was not all the piston got stuck and uh, we rectified the problem and the pump started working so now guys you will uh, i request you to have a look at a video which is coming up and do like and subscribe my channel if you like it thank you thank you guys uh, go ahead with my videos so there's no corrosion no erosion all intact the wearing is also okay and uh, this full pump is there, we have removed and we have brought it here. So when we change it, we can turn this freely. Turn turn. Turn clockwise and anti-clockwise. So we can turn it properly here. Yeah, both of us. Forward and after. After both movements can be done from here, yeah. Okay, comfortable. So this is our pump side, uh, impeller is uh, free of any uh, erosion or corrosion and uh, this is our uh, uh, ball bearing set along with the shaft where the motor, uh, hydraulic motor shaft will get inside this and it will turn our uh, impeller. Now I am trying to turn this shaft and we can see this movement. So, okay, okay. See by turning the impeller the movement of this uh, shaft is free ball bearing is also not stuck it is working fine so there is no problem with the movement of uh, 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 impeller or with the ball bearing the impeller is not stuck keep your hands on this uh, suction and discharge line and then let us know whether it is taking vacuum and it is taking yeah, vacuum yeah. it is taking suction keep keep your hands on this it is taking suction mm. okay it. and uh, keep your hands on the discharge line Hmm. You can feel the this is correct. Okay, so uh, this by rotating this the uh, hydraulic motor is working fine. There is no problem with this motor. It is taking vacuum. 
in the suction line and it is taking suction and it is uh, giving discharge and the uh, motor uh, shaft is also free to rotate motor is working fine yeah. there should not be and gear is also okay gear is also okay gear is working fine yeah. gear is moving fine and like we can listen to the noise that the uh, suction noise so we need to just check the control system control unit try this not working and we can rotate in anti clockwise also and there is no noise no noise and nothing yeah so it has been tightened up yeah so till now it is good. so only how many boards you have fit four boards four boards have been fitted okay so let us fix other part and then we will check like how it works yeah. okay i'm sure there is no issue with the process so after full boards it's also again uh, rotating clockwise and anti clockwise for you yeah. i mean all the bolts are tight yeah okay so that means um, mechanical side there is no problem so before uh, dismantling it that did you check like this before removing this uh, before we may we not did you check we yeah? did not remove it uh, separately Achha. separately removed okay look ek second pakdo pakdo ऑपरेट होना चाहिए ना 
और चला वॉल ही साला ऑपरेट नहीं हो रहा है यार स्पिंडल घूम रहा है कंट्रोल 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 टोटल पार्जिंग कर दे टोटल पार्जिंग कुछ पैसा पर्जिंग इज डन है